Okay, so um, <laughs> I'm I'm in love with the show. You should oh, know. Thank so you very much. I'm gonna try not to gush too much during the interview. <laughs> okay, can we start by you uh, you telling us your name, um, what your role is on okay. the show, and where you're from? Uh, my name is Jesse Camacho. I play Sheldon Blecher on West Than Kind, and I'm from Montreal. Good job on the Blecher. Thank you. <laughs> Lots of practice. Yeah. There's, there's been a lot of confusion surrounding it. <laughs> so, um, what is it like for someone uh, your age to land like a starring role in a big show? It's pretty pretty awesome. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I uh, I'd gone in for a couple things. I had some close calls down in Los Angeles, so I think uh, when I finally landed this, it was kind of I was like, it was it was a total dream come true, and it's 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 been a lot of fun. I'm very lucky, and we've got such a great cast and. It's pretty easy to get to get away um, with this show because the writing is so good. So you can just barely, you can basically just stand there, say the lines in a completely monotone fashion, and it'll still be pretty funny. So uh, it's it, it's awesome, and uh, I, I'm still not over it. And it's in our second year. It's it's very incredible. It's incredible. So um, when did you decide you wanted to start acting? How did you get started? Uh, well, both my parents were actors, and when uh, I first saw them on TV, kind of piqued my interest. I was like three. And when I was five, I already wanted to start to get into the business. And they were kind of like, well, you sure? It's a very hard thing to do. And they were, they were hesitant. But when I was eight, they finally got tired of me asking. And it was when I was eight years old, I, I joined and I got my first agent. And through that, I got my second agent. And that's, and then, yeah, here I am now. What have you, uh, have you done anything uh, to this point that people might know you from? Or I did a film in uh, New York, uh, New Jersey, called 12 and Holding. It did uh, 12 and Holding. It was OK. It was uh, Michael Cuesta uh, who directed it, who's one of the directors of Six Feet Under. Um, and that's actually what I was seeing um, but, uh, for this. They had seen that movie, and that's why they brought me in. And I think that's probably that. I was on a YTV show called Fries with That. That seems like, oh, yeah. seems like everybody's seen that show. Um, uh, and I did a TV series called Never Ending Story. It was based on the movies. And, uh, <coughs> I guess those are the, the biggest three, which, you know. So that's... Maybe. So that's probably why Less Than Kind's been so successful this season. Is all your all your fans from uh, Fries with that <laughs> have come over to see I'm you on sure, this yeah, show? Sure, yeah, my, my guest appearance on Fries with that. I actually <laughs> had a lot of fun doing that. Oh. Yeah. So um, I've been kind of asking other people about this. Um, when did you kind of realize that the show was you know something special? Um, I, well, I I guess that would what, what would it have to be. Well, I, I always knew. I always knew the show was, was, was great, and it was, it was above par to some of the other things that we've seen on TV. And um, we were shooting a scene, I think it was, probably for me, it was uh, in episode six of season one, it was a scene where I go on this caffeine high, and I'm running around, and this whole thing, and there's this big kind of group fight at the end, and when we were choreographing that, and she was like, wow, this thing is, is really good, and, and, it was, and it was Ben, who was being hilarious, obviously, is Josh, and... I don't know, just everybody was there that day. It was both the school cast and the family cast coming together. I think that was one of our biggest day for cast, and just everybody was there, and you could really feel it in the room. I think it was probably around then. Yeah. Wow, wow. So uh, Sheldon uh, is uh, falling in love this season, eh? He is falling in love this season. It's, it's going in a very interesting direction. We haven't shot that yet. We're shot, we've shot everything leading up to that point. Um, and <clears throat> we're always starting to read the scripts for the upcoming episodes, and it's, it's going to be a lot of fun to play. Um, and it's very real, and I think, I think a lot of people will be able to relate to it. Well, now that you've broken up with Imelda, I think everything will be well, yeah, cleared the way. Well, yeah, broken up with somebody I wasn't even dating. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think, I think yeah, it's cleared the way for Sheldon and uh, Miriam to kind of connect, and we see, we see some of that this year for sure. So how far do you see the show going? Um, I, I think that we could go easy for at least you know four or five six years even more maybe um and I, I i think that we have enough steam from our writers and everybody involved to go that far i just hope that everybody else agrees and watches the show but i think we could easy go another four or five seasons for sure awesome do you know uh, who the chicken lady is the chicken lady yeah i don't oh, okay <laughs> i just thought i'd ask it's uh, mark mckinney's one of his main oh. characters on I, I i well i only started watching that actually after I met him the first, I, I knew the show. I had seen a couple clips, but I only really started to watch it after that, and then I bought Slings and Arrows, so <laughs> I've been playing catch up a little bit. Anyway. Um, what's your favorite thing about Winnipeg? So my favorite thing about Winnipeg is probably the people. The people here are great, actually. Uh, when I heard we were shooting Winnipeg, and, you know, the whole cast kind of went, oh, okay, this will be interesting, and I don't understand what the bad vibe is 
about Winnipeg summer because everybody's like, oh, it's so cold there. It's it's extremely pleasant here. Everybody's great. Uh, it's a great place to work with. Everybody's professional. I guess yeah, it completes the people. It's the community for sure, hands down. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you very much thank for your you. time. I do appreciate it.